Hello. Yeah, I know. It's been a while, hasn't it? <clears throat> well, I you know, never intended to put the, uh, the the series on hiatus, but um, sometimes those things kind of happen. Um, I fully intend on finishing this playthrough and finally seeing the Moonstair content, but uh, yeah, I mean, it just kind of worked out that way. I, I take the opportunities to record with Galen when I can, and uh, they, they've been presenting themselves often, so I you know, have often been taking those opportunities. I've also had construction going on in my apartment for um, the last week or so. So that has uh, kind of, you know, put a put a wrench in the works. So what are we doing? <laughs> it's been a while since I even looked at this character. We've got a bunch of recoveries. Secure the spindle. I wonder if... Um, I'm already good to start doing that. I guess uh, we're going to be doing the Pewtis Templar pretty soon. The uh, the Barathermites are going to be attacked. Soon enough. We'll see how that goes. Um, are you ready to begin negotiations? Yes. Share the burden across all allies. Negative 50 reputation to each faction. Um, so what factions are we working with? Exactly. We're working with... What? N-Dimensional Star Shell and Delegate for Tortoises. Fellowship of Wardens. Interesting. Uh, Barathermites. Makes sense. And then probably dogs, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, I kind of want to keep my reputation with tortoises. Yes. So... Share the burden between two allies with two attending factions of your choice. Negative 800 plus 200 reputation with a spared faction and a faction heirloom. Now, um, if I was really smart here, I'd go get that heirloom book and see if maybe one of our, my four factions uh, has something good they would uh, part with. Um, I wonder if I've already gotten that book at some point. It would be worth doing a little bit of legwork here and going maybe to six day stills. I should also just check my inventory to see if I've got it. Because you never know, I might actually just have it. Doesn't look like it. Um, it's the heirlooms of Cud. So I, I do want to do that. Let's let's do this properly for once. I'm going to just head over. We'll, we'll, we'll visit ruins just to mark them on the map. I'm not actually going to fully explore them. Well, I mean, if there's a chest right in front of me, I will. And we'll grab that. Floating glow sphere is just an extra 150 bucks. Hostels nearby. Hostels nearby. Hostels nearby. Okay, goodbye. Let's go to the stilt. Let's all go to the lobby. We are in the river and uh, there are mad poles here and I'm not happy about any of this. Um, so long as we stay out of the water, we should be fine. We're already in the river. Uh, we are fighting with some goat folk. As long as there's no seed sowers, I'm fine with all of this. What's our build? We're low on agility, like supremely low on agility. So it's it's kind of I feel like it's been kind of a rough run, but I, I've been trying to make things work uh, We've got chitness pumas going on here I've been making it work in a number of ways. We've got ourselves a um, whoa, Those guys are really hard to see we've got ourselves a flume flume flyer so it, with any luck that will um, close the distance between us and any aggressor you know some ruins sure we'll investigate some ruins just to put them on the map i do kind of wish uh this sounds like it seems like something it will end up in a cud patch at some point um it is like well maybe it maybe not maybe the whole point is that you have to take a risk but i would kind of like it if we could make note of ruins without having to visit them it seems unfair maybe you know the idea is you you got to take a risk you got to go and check it out scope it out in order to make a make a note of it 
Oh goody, we've got a novice of the sightless way. We don't have, I don't think any, well, we've got some pistols. I'm still using these silly pistols um, in order to, to get the bonus. So what do we got here? We got weapon is 55% more likely to, so we get plus five strength from that. And because we were using that, I decided to use this, which is Grant's Clairvoyance, which is fine. It's okay. We're gonna leave. I like Clairvoyance, but it's certainly only good if you have some, I guess we have Stunning Force. Can I actually use Stunning Force through walls? So like if I was to use Clairvoyance here, can I like, well, Stunning Force has a very minimal range. Well, that's actually quite far. A lot farther than I thought. I'm I'm certain I'm I'm trying very hard to like learn some of the more nuanced mechanics of Cud. Ooh, a village! Hey, heck yeah, bud, Merchawan. How you doing, Merchawan? Happy to happy to meet you. Oh, it's a snap! It's a snapjaw village. I uh, wonder what kind of reputation we got going on here. Loved by the m villagers of Machuan. Admired by other villagers. Yeah, I mean, we'll definitely share a dram with you. You seem cool. Uh, let's see our other legendary. What kind of reputation do you have? Loved by villagers and Snapjaws. Admired by Roots. Hated by villagers of Tapur. Admired by robots! Heck yeah, bud. You are a friend of mine. Would you teach me loaf inside of tart goulash and meat yogurt? I would love to meet yogurt. Let's see. So we've got a lot of rip, uh, lore. I want to check out this village before I head over to the stilt. This is a great place. What's my, what's my reputation with... Um, robots looking like uh negative seven uh, 375 so getting there we'd need a, a couple more a couple more uh good friends to robots i wish uh i mean we, we can't really get any more reputation with robots by with this friend because you know they're gonna give us reputation with machawan merchawan um, we'll definitely come back here. I want to do their quest. Get more reputation. You notice some ruins? Sure, we'll check out some ruins. Nice. How's it going? Let's check this out. Anything? I guess I guess I said I wasn't going to explore ruins. The, the series of Galen has been very uh, distracted. Like, every single time we... Find some ruins, we gotta check it out. And I like that, I've been enjoying that. But uh, at the same time, myself, I I like to stay a little bit more pointed, In at least in my series. Let's check out our skim. Recycling is quite good, but we can't use that, right? Because we are we have a carapace. Leyline puppeteers. I have no idea what that does, but it does require quite a lot of bits. I have to imagine this is something good. Grooves are cut into the gloves, static dried palms, and the impossible patterns of leyline geometry. Fingers articulate at inter intersecting radials and spin the latent into being. I have to imagine this kind of works like the nano new, uh, nano neuro matter whatever thingy you know the thingy i have to imagine it works kind of like that you know the thingy nanon fingers are pretty good too but um i don't know if either of those are something i really want to deal with um all right do we have any let's let's hand over our books and russia floor real quick except that's thirteen thousand xp we leveled up very good. Let's go hand over our books. Um, let's first of all let's trade, and I'm gonna see if you have heirlooms to cut. You do have heirlooms of cut. Okay, so doesn't have this. Oh wait, I don't want to read. What do you mean? I want to read it. 
Okay, that's a bug. I'm gonna have to buy it back from them just to read it. Uh, that's silly. Well, um, I'm keeping the displacer brace, but I'm pretty sure that that's for the betel. Um, what can we, what can we give you? I can give you some grenades. I can give you this freeze ray. I like the freeze ray. This is a mutant run, so Sphinx Salt Injectors are not as good. Wow, we have a lot of injectors, and that's a good thing. I'm totally cool with that. We have just, like, straight-up trade goods. Let's do that. Um, hmm. Okay, let's do a rough agate and a rough uh, topaz. We'll have to point, yeah. So, you're gonna make me buy my book back from you. That's fine. We'll also, let's um, go ahead and give books. I'm gonna give all. Tab, select all. However, I am gonna go and look to make sure, wait. Oh, he won't take the, he won't take the heirlooms of cut again. That's interesting. That is interesting. Oh, well, I'm not going to give him Corpus Callias. We still have Cor Heirlooms of Cud. We still have a Sheaf of Tattered Parchment. Is this what I think it is? Yeah, this is the, the thing from the Caver Corpse. Can we... We are tinkering three. I'm pretty sure we can le learn these. Can we learn Phase Cannon? You already know that recipe. Well, that's why I haven't learned that. Okay. Let's have a look through this. Um, so we've got dogs. What do dogs have? Dogs have shoes. I don't know about that. I don't know if I want shoes. Fellowship of the Wardens have gloves. That's fine. Um, check the Barathermites. They have shoes as well. A lot of shoes going on. What was the last one? Tortoises. Tortoises have a rifle. Well, we don't want that. That's the that's one we definitely don't want. So I guess it's either shoes or mm, it's either gonna be shoes or what was the dogs again? Shoes. Gloves. What is our gloves right now? We have, like, not great gloves. I suppose gloves would be fine because we're already averaging our gloves. So they're not exactly great. So, yeah, we could we could do gloves. So is it Fellowship the Warden that, uh, that, like, that have a glove? Fellowship of the Wardens have gloves. Okay, so we're going to be giving it... We're going to be giving it to the Fellowship of the, Ship of the Wardens. Now, the problem is, the one thing I don't like about this is that we will... The Fellowship of the Wardens, as, as I understand it, do not have a delegate. Okay, they have a delegate for us right now, but I, I'm thinking... This is like some fourth dimensional chess stuff right here. Uh, I'm thinking about, you know, far in the future when I want to do the... Um, the quest, I can't remember what they're called. The Slinth. The Slinth quest. Um, this is something I consider now in the very beginning of my game. Is, uh, like, what what factions would I like to try and um, get enough reputation to get the Slinth for? I believe you need 800 reputation with uh, a faction to even make them, you know, a potential candidate. So it's a bit of a problem. It really kind of sucks. But then again, I don't know about a, you know, I don't know who represents dogs either, you know? It's one of the reasons that villager, villages are so important. It's one of the reasons I, I, I want to find them um, as quickly as I do. It's like, and you want to do quests for all of the villages. You want to find all of the villages and try and make friends with all, like as many as possible. Because not only do they offer um, are they are they good potential candidates for having the slinth join them? 
but also the reward for having the slints join them is pretty good um the random villages in general are are great candidates and great rewards for um for the slints no i don't want to check out roasted boar ruins sure we'll, we'll make a note of the ruins oh good fire snout and a, ch a kittenous puma I guess we're not on good terms with um dragonflies or insects okay we can leave we continue to go i guess i could recoil back to ezra i don't have to walk there but you never know you might find some good stuff i really i would like to get a precinct navigator i think that's something that i'm, I'm missing in this run i don't know if i can make one i wonder if i can actually uh precinct navigator actually i can am i currently wearing one i'm not why am i not just doing this this is a great idea i don't think they stack by the way i don't know if that's a thing tinker up a precinct navigator um we've got tons of nuclear cells so i'm gonna go ahead and throw one of those in that um, install a nuclear cell and then equip manual gonna replace one of my copious compass bracelets there we go and now um, we'll be finding ruins a lot more quickly I've been learning a lot from uh, the playthrough with Galen you know I like it takes sometimes it takes a, 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 a second oh god we're in the river I don't like that it takes a, a second set of eyes and a fresh perspective to um, teach you things that you maybe you already knew. Put a put, um, you know, underline certain things that you didn't think were as important as they are. I am. Um, I've been really enjoying um, like you wouldn't think it would be very fun watching someone else play your favorite game, but it is. I guess I, I'm also like I am cognizant of the fact that I play through galen in many ways like uh i i want to let him do his own thing but sometimes it's you know you're watching some kind of like very convoluted train uh fly into some kind of fractal wall and you're like well hold on a second hold on a second there bud we got flawless crystal boots but we already are wearing flawless crystal boots so we're fine how come we're on bad terms with bugs? I'm wearing a symbiotic firefly. What's our, what's our, where are we with the uh, insects? Negative 75. Did I like piss off the wrong insect? Okay, so we are going to um, get a lot of reputation with the Fellowship of Wardens for gloves, I suppose. Uh, negative 800 with the Betrayed Faction, ne plus 200 reputation with the Spared Faction. Um, choose a faction to be betray. I'm going to betray dogs, I'm afraid. I'm sorry. Spare from obligation to Asphodel. Um, we're doing the Fellowship of Wardens. I am so sorry. So, um, I, I really thought construction was do over, but apparently I, I still had some going on. So I unfortunately missed the, uh, the ex quest completed and the item gotten, but we're going to have a look at it right now. I haven't looked at it, so I don't know what it is. It is the Radiant Mitts of Shammer. Ooh, 4 AV. That's actually really nice for gloves and resistance and plus four ego and they're woolly <laughs> well i guess that hints to the heat resistance and cold resistance they give i have to look at that again plus four ego that's insane that's amazing um we're definitely wearing those we'll wear them oh, i guess all of our stuff is woolly so what's our ego at right now 27 oh my god oh my god that's amazing our clairvoyance is through the roof um all right well that was worth it i want I, what i want to do now is get another like amazing named 
uh, gloves since I have two sets of arms, I think. Do I have two sets of arms in this run? Yes, I do. <clears throat> okay, um, let's look at our quest again for the third or fourth time. Um, because it, it, this is a new day. Like, this is my life now. Return to Cricket. Right, we're about to get attacked by the, the dudes. The dudes. They're gonna attack us. I'm, I, uh, this is always anxiety ridden, an anxiety ridden quest. Um, I was very grateful for how it went in, uh, Galen's game. Let's see now. We want to talk to Otho. Otho, the spindle is ours. Complete the step. We got some rep. And... I will return later. Okay. Uh, how? Oh. The whole compound rumbles around you. Walls creak, loose objects skid about, and dust is stirred up in the iridescent clouds. Come back. What are you thinking? Grave thoughts. Uh, go to Urshkigend. Alright. Let's go talk to, um... Actually, I... I their name? Erish something? Erish Kugal. There we go. Scan the surroundings. Scanning. All right. Um, let's go ta tell Atha what's up. I'll do my best to defend Gritgate. I haven't really prepared for this. I don't know if, like, what kind of grenades do I have? That's really the main thing. Um, oh, we have flashbang grenades. That's, that's like the best part. Uh, let's go ahead and equip those. EMP grenade is also good, I think, for Pewdus Templar, but I, I think Flashbang would do it. Um, so they're both going to come down the middle there. That's kind of spooky. But maybe that means we can deal with this a little bit easier. So first of all, let's go ahead and turn this on, activate that. And we'll turn on this, activate that laser turret. And I think we have enough to... Um, potentially have an extra force field wait what oh i see we have to do it it's it's weird um can we go like this can we go like this hmm that that works kind of wonder if we could go like that and then hold on Oh, this could be good, actually. We're going to create a death tunnel. I have a funny feeling this isn't going to work the way I want it to. Because they're going to, like, smash open some, some walls. So I imagine this, this is not actually going to work. But we did use... Um, we used up all of our amps, basically. I don't know if I can turn on, like, one way droid. Or even one chromeling. Uh, can I turn on a chromeling? Overclock chromelings. We could do that. All right. So we've used up all of our amps, and that's pretty good. I'm not going to turn on Shem. Shem is a uh, almost a liability. Or uh, sorry, Rodanus. All right. Oh, is that Shem over there? Is that who died in uh, Galen's game? Yeah. Okay. Completely different guy. Completely different little guy. All right, so I think we're okay. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to release a bunch of gas here. You never know. This might help a lot. I'm just going to poot all over the entrance. And I'm going to continue pooting. until basically they show up. I'm also going to use heavy use of my, um, are we in dueling stance yet? Yeah, of my uh, swipe to try and disarm them. I suppose I shouldn't necessarily stand there. 
We do have clairvoyance. I could use clairvoyance to like keep an eye on this. Any day now. All right, there we go. Here they come. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Well, okay, the good news is that they didn't manage to break through. The bad news is I noticed they have a different access point. Uh, also, they are throwing every grenade known to man at me. Um, let's do a stunning force. Right there seems like a good spot. Um, I'm gonna flame flyer. Zoot. Oh, I didn't. Wow. How far am I going? <laughs> I just set a checkpoint. That's actually not good. Okay, flame flyer off. Uh, swipe this guy. He, he, I've been EMP'd. That's okay. I don't think I have too much that I rely on for um, when it comes. Oh, I should use my flashbang. My clairvoyance is off cooldown. Um, throw... Did I... I don't know if the... I don't know if my, my flashbang went off. I could try and proselytize with someone also. I'm convinced. That's fine. Alright. Our first lad is dead. Alright. They're throwing their own fair share of flashbangs. I've noticed. Um, the bad things are happening right now. I mean, everything's kind of a mess. I would like to not be flashbanged anymore. I can't tell if I'm seeing Gritgate. Okay, Gritgate is getting absolutely demolished right now. Um, more sleep gas. Do we have clairvoyance back? I don't think we do. Um, taking some damage, but not too much. Swipe this guy's weapon out of his hand. I don't... I think the turrets all died. <laughs> Fusion power station broken. I'm, I'm pretty sure if they get destroyed, then bad things happen. I'm just kind of focusing on what's in front of me right now. Um, swipe. Did I disarm them? I did. Nice. Am I still... I still have all of my stuff. That's the important thing. Uh... Am I using an... I am using an electrified weapon. I wonder if that's a mistake. Uh, I kind of not, actually. It's not in my primary hand is the important thing. Okay, that guy's dead. Um... They're... Coming in through the other wall. Let's have a look at how uh, what you know, let's have a look over there and see what's up Okay, so there's a couple lads left and the legendary oh no one of the um, chromelings just died Time to oh, I really want to activate the flume flyer Activate it zoot Um, swipe this out of their hand. Did I, de did I... I'm stunned. I don't know if I'm, I don't know if thing, good things are happening right now. He's being shot at, that's the good news. But so am I, maybe. Um, maybe I can stunning force them. I'm gonna stunning force one of the bears as well here, but I think they'll understand. Shield slam. Resisted. Sleep gas. Okay, we need to salve. I guess we don't... Oh, we... I'm not looking at tonics. Okay, we have so many salves. I was gonna say, we don't have any salves. We have tons of salves. Okay, um... He's injured, but not... Okay, I, I have disarmed him. This is good. I don't know if they can pick up their weapons. Uh, 
Uh, he's doing some pretty nasty damage to me, and I think he's stunning me occasionally. You're famished. <laughs> I probably should have eaten a meal before this started, to be honest. Ow, ow. What is doing so much damage? It might be that the bears are like accidentally hitting me. I'm going to go ahead and take another self. I don't want to kill this guy to myself just to make sure, or at least disarm him. Uh, wounded. Badly wounded. Dead. Okay, back on the legendary. I haven't even looked at his reputation. Admired by oozes. Oh, no. Ah. I love, I love ooze rep. If I can get it. Um. I'm going to try once to proselytize him. Yeah. Okay. Well, I guess I'm making enemies to oozes. I'm already on bad terms with oozes. <sighs> Despised by oozes. Well, at least I get re um, reputation with a village. There's some crystal gauntlets. That's good. Uh, weird artifact. I'll grab that. Which is a really heavy one. I don't know if I'm using shields. I don't think I am. But I should be at this point. Um, I think... I think that is everything. Oh, no, there's still one more. That is a implanted knight templar. I'll do my best to destroy them. I wonder if Irshkigal can get killed in this. All right, that was the last dude. Oh, we had an herbary, that's nice. Carrying too much to move. Let's have a look at some of our, oh my god, some of our artifacts. We've got an ontological anchor. This is good. We have three ontological anchors. Spring-loaded full right boots. Those are quite nice. Mat assist module implant. Parabolic muscular subroutine implant. Bionic hands. Love me some bionic hands. Skill soft fasting way. I mean, that's fine. Phase Harmonic Modulator. Hypertractor. Love me a hypertractor. Mostly to dissemble. Disassemble. Resonance Grenade. This is nice. I'm definitely going to uh, disassemble a couple ontological anchors here. Um, probably I should disassemble all of them. I don't know really what I could do with them. But, um... Oh, this is, this is fine. We're still over encumbered, huh? What am I carrying too much of? Oh, armor? Oh, wow, these full rate boots are 35 pounds. Can I modify those with slender or uh, nulling and refractive for me, apparently? I, I, I don't know when I got a meta crystal, but I'm glad to have it. Uh, we'll drop these chain gauntlets. How about that? Immediately over encumbered again. Um, what do we got? What did we pick up just now? You rip an optical bioscanner implant out of a human corpse. Um, we're gonna have a lot of stuff, and it's gonna be hard to deal with it all. What do we got here in our missile weapons? Oh, there's a, another hypertractor. Let's go ahead and disassemble that. We do have an advanced toolkit, right? Yeah, we do. Okay, cool. Um, we're going to be over encumbered soon enough, I'm sure. Uh, I collected a bunch of fresh water, like a lot of fresh water. So we're going to, I'm going to drop some fresh water just for a moment. Uh, I'm going to drop a lot of fresh water just for a moment. <laughs> oh my God. How much fresh water did I... I must have picked up something else as well. What did I pick up? Oh, I don't like that my dude automatically butchers um, Barathermites. That's not cool. That is really not nice. Um, can we wear anything on our back? 
Oh yeah, we we have our flume flyer. I'm wondering if we can. Do we have a? No. Okay. I was wondering if we had a, a nylon body pack, but we don't. What do we have in our food that we could shed? A gallbeard gland. We could. Yeah. Okay. Let's let's do that. I know this is uh, probably not very exciting. And I'm, I really don't want to find like I'm, I'm kind of uh, worried about who died to be honest I'm not I'm not a big fan of losing bears um, Let's make a rubber rubber gum salve or whatever injector Can we make some salves? No, I can't I am no longer over encumbered. I am now over encumbered Why am I over encumbered? Is it energy cells? No Melee weapons? Yes. We need to treat stun rods as scrap. That's why. And then I'm just gonna... Replace cell, disassemble cell, uh, drop freezing bronze mace. We're still over encumbered now. Hyper elastic ankle tendons. We've got a lot of cybernetics. Like, a lot of cybernetics. What did I... What am I still carrying? Armor? Um... You know what? Let's trade out our... Steel gauntlets for... Crystal gauntlets, because that's a... Benefit, and then we're gonna go ahead and drop those, because that's 12 pounds. Alright. Playing... I'm playing the item management game here. Oh, I forgot to pick up some of these. I, I, I forgot to rob their med, <laughs> their med med uh, lab. Oh God, um, a turbo. Love me a turbo. One day I will use a turbo. Not now though. Okay, we got laser pistols that we should disassemble, and uh, treat as scrap. Disassemble, disassemble. Laser rifle is also quite nice, but disassemble. Um, turbo, disassemble, treat as scrap, carbine, I hate to think whose this is, treat as scrap, disassemble, all right, that's uh, a lot of weight I just shed, I don't like that frock, there's, oh god, we're over encumbered again because we keep picking up water. I'm gonna continue to drop water. Just for now. All of it, actually. Um, I have zero water right now, but I'm not thirsty, so we're just gonna deal. I, my dude should be picking up that herbary. Those those are good good gut good gets. Um, I don't really want any of this right now. That's ingredients and stuff. Okay, stop picking up water. <laughs> like, we just picked up another 74 drams. <laughs> oh, God. Um, I'm gonna disassemble this grenade launcher, maybe. Yeah. Okay, stop. Stop picking up water. I should pick, uh, turn that off. I thought I did have it turned off. Okay, let's go find Otho and see what the damage is. Um, live and drink. I've assessed the losses we suffered. First and foremost, let us lament the deaths of our friend Mafio, Hortenza. Oh my god, we lost like all the good bears. All of them. Mafio, Hortenza, Spare, Fusile, Jacobo. And Shem1. The... Nine chromlings perished, no books were burned, no bookshelves were destroyed, no crops were ruined, 31 gadgets were shattered, and three pieces of furniture were destroyed. Oh. Jesus. Mafio. Hortenza. Spare a few. These are, these are all good bears we just lost. That is like one of the worst 
cutest Templar invasions I think I've ever seen. I don't know how it went so badly. I was trying my best. I guess I should have thrown some more grenades. I should have like frozen them all as soon as they showed their face. I'm out of the rhythms. I'm not, I'm not, uh, I'm not in the rhythm of Cud right now. He wishes to speak to me. All right, we're going to go talk to Brathram and then we're going to end the episode. I'm sorry about the fractured nature of this series right now. I intend to continue it and I really want to see the Moonstair content. Stop picking up fresh water. <laughs> All right, hold on. Options. Automation. Auto pick up fresh water. All right. That's my bad. This is my bad. All right, treat. Um, why did are the chem cells not being treated as scrap? I guess I don't know. Maybe there is bad things happening, and my dude was picking them up anyway. Armor. I do want to keep these full right boots, but they're being more of a pain in the butt than I would like. So I'm gonna put them in Barathrum's garden. Sorry, Barathrum. You're so old. Before Cud, before the beyond the thousand years. Um, Otho said you wish to speak with me. Uh, service of the guild has been laudable, disciple. You brave the vaporous depths of Bethesda Susa. All right, so what is this the signal? Beacon of welcoming. Originates from the top of the spindle. What now? Who is Pax Clank? Continue listening. I will go and seek out Pax Clank. And now I will go and seek Q-Girl because Q-Girl has the blueprints that I need to give to Pax Clank. Good lord, I... I... Where is Q-Girl, actually? I'm like... Oh, there she is. She's she uh, can't die in that Pewdus Templar invasion, which is nice. Despite what some very strange people on the internet will say. Um. All right, so. Brathram asked me to deliver me to deliver your blueprints to Plex uh, Pax, Plex Clang. That's right. All right, so we have our quest. We must go and visit Pax Clang. Um, let's just make sure we do actually have that quest because sometimes I get it wrong um, Yes, seek the heart of the rainbow and we will uh, I would love to do some trading here, but I think that it's This uh, great gate is no longer a viable trade spot because of what just happened that sucks so much I thought that maybe those were marker steel gauntlets, but they're just slime stained steel gauntlets. So what I'm going to do now, um, I'm going to go out. Is there someone out there? Oh, there's yet one more Pewdest Templar here. Passed by a pair of crystal boots. Heck yeah. Wear those. Oh, we're wearing uh, flawless crystal boots. I would love to pick those up for trade. They are actually a very good trade, but um, I don't have the capacity right now. All right. Sorry, I keep passing by this layer and it keeps making a checkpoint. Just wanted to see if that Pewdest Templar had anything and he did not. So what I want to do actually is I think at this point it's fair. Um, it's fair to make use of Eid Freehold or Yid Freehold, whichever you prefer. Um, so I'm going to make my way over there. Do we have skill points? Yes, we do. Do we have wayfaring? Yes, we do. Do we have wayfaring ri rivers and lakes? No, we don't. Um, there's actually good reasons not to take this. If you know what I mean, there's exactly one good reason not to take this. Uh, so I'm not going to take it, which is risky. It's really risky, but I'm not, I, I, you know, I'm okay. Um, we'll be okay. So I'm gonna go make my way over to Eid Freehold. We'll probably be lost. Discover a lair. Yeah, I'll, sure, I'll check out a lair real quick. 
Legendary go folk shaman. Well, that's terrifying. Um, I want, I just want to go to Eid Freehold. Oh, there's a name location right next to them. Notice some ruins. Sure, let's we'll check out some ruins real quick. As soon as I get to Eid Freehold, I'm going to end the episode. Interesting ruins. Please don't get lost. We got lost. I am, uh, having... Okay, we're, we're good. Having uh, done this with Galen a little bit, I actually think the Palladium Reef and Lake Hinnom is a pretty darn good place to uh, train. So we will be doing this. I just gained 4,000 experience for finding this lair, and it is a Sfardim lair, and we got to Eid Freehold with relative safety. Um, I am going to do some off-screen... Um, basically in inventory management and buying and selling of stuff so that you do not have to suffer that we have <laughs> we have on in our eat freehold a rimwick an asphodel or whatever these things are called what are these things called oh yeah an asphodel light and denizen we also have a dromad and the a dromad at eid could be really cool uh never mind they are like a really not exciting <laughs> dromad Shucks. Okay, well, like I said, I'm going to do some off-screen buying and selling. Um, mostly a recoiler and some stuff and make try and, like, sell all the stuff we got from that invasion. And uh, I'm going to say that Eat Freehold is... It should be made available, basically, when you're doing the Rainbow Wood because it's fairly close by. And, um, yeah, it, it, like, it's a good place to have on your, on your, on your map. But I don't know if there's, like, actually, like, quests associated with it. But... Uh, we are going to be training in the Rainbow Wood fairly soon, um, because after Rainbow Wood is Tomb of the Eaters, and I think that level 30 is a, is a good starting place to be at for Tomb of the Eaters. But anyway, if you are enjoying this series, definitely hit the like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.